with simple harmonic motion and uh, I decided to make a video if there's anybody actually interested in um, in playing with the with the graphs using MATLAB so for for simple harmonic motion where there's no damping no driving oscillation driving force it's actually quite straightforward you get a sinusoidal or a cosine curve not much really going on like a pendulum swinging or the mass on the spring um, but when you add friction or, or damping coefficient then things become a little bit more interesting um, so you get a damping coefficient added to the to the equation of motion so you can see you form sort of an envelope and that envelope the formula for that is given by this um, e to the minus b t so how you derive that i'm not really going into that but i'm using the format that's used in thornton they use it in on page 109 where they define the, the damping coefficient here as gamma over 2m to clean up the math a little bit um, so then you end up with a, a amplitude times the cosine of the omega t or the angular frequency times time and with a, a damping coefficient then you get the same equation but this will form an envelope so if if i plot this the top one will be the amplitude a times e to the minus bt the bottom one will be minus a to the e uh, e to the minus bt so i'll just run that again so more than that this is not really interesting so when you start adding a sinusoidal driving force um, that sort of fights to gain control over this oscillation then it becomes a bit more interesting so in the second program i've um, still got the homogeneous solution because you get the initial um, sinusoidal with the exponential decay and amplitude but now you add a driving force which will eventually cause a steady state it will take over the movement and the motion and you'll end up at a certain frequency the angular frequency of the driving force obviously and then with the amplitude depending on how close the driving fre angular frequency is to the natural frequency of the system so here i've got an amplitude of four the damping coefficient 0.1 and the natural frequency of 2. So if I plot that once again at the bottom here, I'll just change to F. So this will then show us how the system will look um, without the driving force. So you'll see it's just a steady decay to the equilibrium point. Now the second solution is the particular solution and that will give us the steady state solution now what's interesting here is mass is not important in the homogeneous equation and solution but the amplitude of the driving force becomes a function of the driving angular frequency w1 here and as you can see on this graph the bottom one so depending on the driving frequency and the natural frequency you can see what amplitude your steady state will eventually reach so if i plot the particular solution which will be g it's not going to be an interesting graph but it will show you the steady state of the driving force so at omega one equals one radians per second um, that can be the expected amplitude here of 3.3 and that's all good and well but not very interesting so if you combine that you the, the the general solution is actually a linear combination of the homogeneous equation or the solution for the homogeneous equation as well as the particular solution so you've got a linear combination and if i plot that as h you can see how the driving force initially tries to take over this system that naturally wants to oscillate but um, because it's a driving force obviously it will win out in the end 
So you can see here I've plotted, I've got the current driving frequency at 1, and this is the expected amplitude. But if you put the system on the natural um, frequency, then you will also get your maximum amplitude. So the natural frequency is 2, and if I put this on 2, you'll see a significant change in the amplitude of the system. And it also doesn't seem to be struggling with the system. And then lastly, if I um, if I put the frequency significantly higher as the natural frequency, say at uh, 8, you'll see that it will still win out in the end. It will still take control of the system, but at a significantly lower amplitude. So you can see there's an exponential decay here. And at 8, the expected amplitude is about 1.7. So it's fighting, fighting, fighting for control, but it will still win at the end, but at a very low amplitude of 0 0.17.